in easier days than getting the solar. <laughs> So I was just on watch and uh, there's a boat and uh, they were just kind of heading for us and now they're really heading for us. We are at the island of Niaz, located off the western coast of Sumatra in Indonesia, at a little surf town in the Langundri Bay. So this morning we're going into town. Lee had met a guy that offered to take us to get fuel and some provisions at a nearby town, about a 20 minute drive away. This path is a great idea, but it's made out of tiles. It doesn't hurt your feet like the reef does, but when it's wet, it's super slippery. in time for some lunch. Hash and his family run this family surf camp here in Niaz. Oh, that's an amazing place to have lunch guys, have a look at that. Such a rad spot to stay or even just to eat and watch the waves roll in. Bye. Bye. See ya. And the burgers were pretty delicious too. Thanks Hash, you are a legend mate. Remember that slippery tiled path that I showed you on our way in? Well, we had to lug jerry cans full of fuel over them, which were now wet from the tide coming in. Plus, there was nowhere to pull the tender up. We anchored and swam in, but loading the boat was a lot trickier than you. easier days to get the Oh no! Okay, careful putting the pole real quickly. So we're still at Nia's and today we went into town with our friend Hush. Hush, sorry Hush. if I'm saying it wrong. Hush. We think it's Hush. 
Um, and he got, we got some fuel, so we're all fueled up, got diesel and some veggies. So we've got suddenly wind, which is really cool. Not much, just light, but at least it's going the right way. So we're going to probably head off in, early in the morning. Yeah, we met some really cool people here and we're looking forward to coming back next year. That's the plan. Have some proper surf. We had a bit of a surf, but I like we can see how there'd be a pretty good wave here. There's a lot of people, a lot of the locals surf and they rip, hey. Some of the kids out here, really good surfers. But yeah, really nice people and nice little place. So we're pulling anchor from Niaz and uh, we're heading off. Finally, <laughs> we've kind of been heading off all day, but we went and had a surf and then we had a friend come out of the boat and yeah. It's about six or seven and we're, it's just about to get dark and we're heading off now. So cool place, the kids love the wave here so they've had really good surfs, which is nice because um, some, yeah, some of the places we've been, the reef's been quite shallow and they haven't really had that much fun. Um, so yeah, but here they have and there's been heaps of kids in the water so they've had a really good time. But we're heading out, we've probably got four days at sea and um, yeah. I think the anchor's up. I didn't even have to do it. Anchor up, Captain. Anchor's up. Oh, the anchor's up. We're underway. We're just coming past the top of Nias. Everyone's in bed. I'm on the morning watch. I'm just watching all these dolphins. Amazing. They're everywhere. on the nose which is fantastic so no, we're motoring along there's no wind we've got sunshine so we've uh we haven't washed our clothes for ages <laughs> so we're doing we've done the washing was there a tissue in there yeah oh someone had a tissue in their pocket so now we've got tissue all over the clothes which i should have taken out because i was the washerwoman but anyway We've got a storm ahead, so we're hoping that we can get these clothes dry before we run into that. But we're having a nice little passage. We are motoring, but that's how it is. It's how it is, how it is. Could be howling on the nose, so that's good it's not. And so we finally got into the rain. We didn't quite get our clothes dry. We nearly did, and then it just started bucketing. <laughs> Oh well, joys of the tropics. I'm feeling pretty quick. <laughs> we took advantage of the rain, collecting some water to wash with and scrub the cockpit clean. We got a heap of rain, but with that rain, we got some wind. So we're sailing. Finally, been motoring for 24 hours. Now 
now we're sailing. Fingers crossed the wind stays in that direction and keeps up for the next, for the next 24 hours. That'd be nice. There is nothing more peaceful than when the engine gets switched off, getting powered along by nothing but the wind in our sails. Jamaican bird. is making a colouring in book with all these awesome drawings so it's going to be so good. Alright, night number three on our way to Sabang. We've got about I think a bit less than 200 nautical miles to go and uh, yeah we've got no wind or well, I've got a bit of wind but it's not enough to sail a bit on the nose. Sun's going down and it looks like clear skies tonight which will be nice because it was a bit rainy last night. It's like three, four o'clock in the morning and we've been going two knots for about the last five hours so we haven't really moved. We've got pretty strong wind on the nose so um, it's not looking that good. We're just can't really keep going because we'll um, we'll run out of fuel before we get to our next stop. So we're gonna look at tacking and picking up some speed. But yeah, hopefully the rest of the way isn't this like this. So yeah, I've just taken over Lee's been on watch since about maybe five, four, five. It's like eight o'clock in the morning. Still going to. Two, three knots and it's painful and could 
be worse. We've never had any problems over here in Indonesia, like everyone warns you about pirates. Oh, what about pirates? If you catch a fish, we get a fish burgers. Unfortunately, there was no fish. So tempeh burgers with satay sauce, it is. Ooh, look at that thing. We've just arrived into um, somewhere we're going to anchor for the night. We're at the very top of Sumatra. And keep going and get up to Sabang, maybe tomorrow. The boats in here are really different. They're, um, I love when we go into villages and we go into all these little towns and they've all got really different um, fishing boats. These ones are like got a really high nose, I'll show you. But yeah, it's really cool. It's a nice colourful little town. And it's about to leave the little spot that we came into last night. We had a good night's sleep which is nice and um, we're heading up to the tip, to the top, to the most western point of Indonesia. Um, Bang, where we will exit the country and there's a bit of a gap there's a bit of a tricky part in about 15 nautical miles away and we've got to time it so that we're there for the slack of the tide or the incoming tide yeah last time we went through a gap wasn't the greatest and uh, we didn't time it right so we had looked up the tides a guy that's been really helpful thank you Kevin for all the information said it's um, a really tricky to time so we've looked it up. We think we're doing the right time, but hey, you know, you, you never know. So we're just going to go for it. Hopefully it is not like our last experience and we get through okay, but we can always turn around, I guess. Go back, wait. But yeah, we're about to pull anchor. We had a really good night's sleep. We didn't end up going ashore last night. We, um, yeah, we were really tired and exhausted. So we just all went to bed. These videos are made possible because of our patrons. Thank you all so very much. It all comes all thanks to you all. So we're in the harbour and we're going to see if we can just punch it out and get our fuel, get out of here. All thanks to you all. Up next, we show you the procedure of checking out of Indonesia in Sabang. Third last office before we check out of Indonesia. So we're all checked out and we're just going to get some food and then we're going we're gonna to head off so yeah. into the night. Remember guys, if you like that video, please like and comment and share with your friends. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. See you next time. Bye.